we've got this idiot on the other side of the river. He keeps firing a gun. It kind of worries me that this dickhead doesn't even know where he's shooting at. Hey! Oh, this guy's fucking pissing me off. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in on this brisk, chilly, but sunny morning. Uh, obviously, summer's coming to an end and winter's coming. So we thought, you know what, let's do a day trip. We have some nice weather. Let's take advantage of it. We loaded up some firewood because we can do that. Uh, grab some drinks, some food. You might want to stick around. We are going to cook on the campfire. And uh, we don't know where we're going at this point, but we hope you stick around to check it out and find out where we end up. Thanks, guys. And off we go. <laughs> to make a movie. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, I'm a funny mother. That's not what It's going to be a good day. That's all I know. Oh, yeah. It's always a good thing on the back roads. So. Definitely got the fall feels. Yeah. Still just 13 degrees. Ooh, it's starting to get some good views. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. That's cool. That's a nice spot to camp if. Yeah, it's true. Ooh. If it's not busy and you get in the dust of the trail. I'm a so we had to turn around and go back down because we got... It was gated? Yep. On to the continuation of exploration. The mouthful. <laughs> That's too bad. It was looking promising. It definitely was. Well, if you got to turn around, there's worse things to see doing it. Yep, that's fair. Yeah. Let's just get out and take a look anyway, so just see. It might be worth it, might not be. Yep. Or it might be. So it's kinda kinda feels like it'd be a nice spot to chill. I don't know. I'll just back up off the road and we'll check it out. Alright, let's check out this spot, see if we wanna spend the day here. What's that? Oh. It's A little bit of trash. Yeah. But the views, oh. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? It's not, there's no wind, which is nice. Well, that could be good or bad, depending how the temperature gets. Yeah, fair. Because this really, not that I want to stop early, but this is kind of, we said, let's find a place with a view with a fire pit. and. I don't know. Creates a magic for lunch. 11? Yeah, it's not late at all. It's, yep, 11. So we could look around and worst case, come back. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Cool. Let's go explore some more. Plates with stuff on it. Someone's doing something this weekend. Little area by the creek. Yeah. Take a look. Take a look. Look and see. <laughs> Oh, this one's right by the fire. I mean, right by the river. That's kind of cool. 
left a bit of trash, but nothing well, we excessive. Pick that, we can hit that up and that one. We have the means. Well, let's check it out. Maybe it's something better than the back there. Oh, the sound of the creek is beautiful. Like, really, that's not bad. Really. Goes in quite a ways, eh? I know. I'm quite surprised. Wow. A nice little spot. No wonder it's all the way down here. I wonder if it sounds like it gets away from the water, though. A couple fire pits here. Just not as close to the water, but we brought water, so... What do you think? I think it's a nice little spot. Checks all the boxes. Fire pit, relatively flat. We can set up our cooking table right here even. I like it. You like it? It's got a nice fire pit right by the water. Well, relatively like. It's quiet. That's what I like. We're away from the road, quiet. Away from the road, away from people. Yeah. We got, we won't be direct in sun all day, but we have sunny patches if we get a little chilly. And, no, I was gonna say. And what? Put up the hammock, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> right here. You think it would reach? I don't know. I'll give it a try. Depends how long the straps are. Perfect. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Here we go. This is a way better choice. It is, hands down, a better choice. The only sad part is, like, all this toilet paper laying around. I know, there's a lot of toilet paper. And at the end of the day... Sorry? At the end of the day, it's not that hard to bring your little baggies and put your toilet paper in your baggie. I know. And bring it, pack it out. Well, apparently it is, because people won't clean up after themselves. I'm already, like, so much more relaxed than this morning. Okay, as you saw, we decided on this spot by this creek. And we are completely by ourselves, which is amazing. And absolutely beautiful. We've never been to this spot before, so this is brand new for us. This is beautiful. We're going to relax for a little bit, have a drink, get some coals going before we make our meal for today. So, I, mean, I don't usually run this thing. 
What do you got going on? I am making, I don't, I don't know if there's an official name for this, but I did find this recipe online. Bailey's with vanilla vodka. How can you possibly go wrong? So obviously we all alter the recipes. I think it's like basically two to one vodka to Bailey. Uh, that Bailey's sounds a little off, yeah. You want to do the other way around? Yeah, so if you're going to do like four ounces of vodka, do no, <laughs> two ounces of vodka to four ounces of Bailey. Usually on ice, but. You can chip some off the block in there. That's two in a bit. <laughs> no, I don't think the last few times I've had ice, so it's not around long enough to require ice. That's, whoa. And I'll grab a stir, give it a little stir. Not shaking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's funny, it doesn't look like a lot in there, right? No, it doesn't actually. But six ounces of booze. Straight up. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we are gonna start prep for our meal. What do we got going on, love? I've got russet potatoes. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I'm gonna wash the potatoes. Then we're gonna wrap them in tinfoil. We're gonna put them in the fire. I'm just building up the coals for later, but potatoes take a bit. And our luck with potatoes, they take more than a bit. Yeah, they usually do. I'll just crack this open just a tiny bit. Oh. Right. This guy can go back. Now normally I would like to do them with a little sprinkle of salt on them, but Donkey says I'm not allowed salt anymore. <laughs> not allowed beer anymore. <laughs> Hey guys, so we were exploring down Harrison East today and taking some off-road, some offshoots, and we found some cool stuff, um, some gates, some places that just ended the slash piles, which are never really great. They're just open and it, it looks bare. But it was so weird that a place that we've driven by, God, hundreds of times you would think, um, you take this little road to the back and it just led us to this like beautiful campsite, like off the road. We'd never been here. Um, we just wanted to check it out. We're like, we stopped where we always see everybody camping and then we sort of got out. And I think you saw that actually. I think Joanne recorded it. us going back, but it, yeah. Like this cool little road. And then it just tucks in sort of beside the rocks on the river. You're not directly on it, but you are. So yeah. I just kind of wanted to show you our cool little find that everybody obviously knew was here, but we didn't because it was just like, ah, it's too busy, we'll never go in there. But you know what, when no one was out there, it led to a little treasure in here. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. You can really ask for a cooler little spot to stop for the day. And well, what time is it? It is. Booze review time. <laughs> <laughs> so last weekend, when we were hanging out with Adam and Cheyenne from Adventure Overland, it brought us into Hope, which is Mountain View Brewing Company. Their home. Their home. So if you have seen it, I tried the Colors of Pomegranate Sour from them. And my hope was to find that again. In hope. Oh, see what I did there? <laughs> that went sideways. <laughs> they no longer produce the colors of pomegranate. So instead, we got the beer garita. It is a lime sour, and I will read the description because it's quite lovely. It's beer meets margarita in the summertime inspired lime sour. 
a light, easy drinking ale. Beer Garita is flavored with a touch of bitter orange peel, sea salt, and finished on a lime puree for that signature margarita-like taste. Our house ale yeast provides a sweet finish and fruity character, character for balance. This brew is ready for a day in the sun. And luckily today we have sun. So I imagine it'll be much like when you have a margarita and you dump a cur Corona into it. The bulldog thing? Yeah. I think it's what's I feel like it would be the same. So very clearly I loved the color of pomegranate, so I can't imagine this one being awful. Here we go. It's pretty freaking delicious. <laughs> So you're just all about Mountain View. What did you say, Mountain View? Mountain mm -hmm. View. I have to say, when we bought it, remember we were talking to her about how a sour can be too much? Yeah, she said that, yeah. And she said she, their sours are really not that sour. And she is 100% right. I could drink several of these in a row, whereas a normal sour, you need a break. Delicious. Cool. Absolutely delicious. So, the outcome, the... Result? The, res the result is, is if you can get your hands on this, do so. All right. Very good. That's a great fire. That's, that's a good fire. That's a crazy fire stick. That's, yeah, it's a great fire stick. <laughs> so we're putting on the potatoes to cook? Yes, of course. Put them off to the side to start. Oh, that's hot. It is hot. It's a lot of heat coming out of there. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. Start those off to the side because, yeah, that's a crazy hot fire. That's a hot fire. And then start to check them in a bit. And when we do that, we will... Have you told anybody what we're making yet? No one has a clue what we're making yet. Hmm. I'll tell you in a bit. So we're just prepping to do some cooking. Let's put this log in there, man. Okay, so our baked potatoes are done and we are keeping them warm as we heat up our cast iron pan. And my dear, what is going in said cast iron? Going in said cast iron pan is going to be what my grandfather that served called shit on a shingle it's not me it was him and you cannot argue with the greatest generation ever having said that so what this is is it's, it's essentially ground beef gravy that was served on toast back in the day when he was serving and i ate it growing up so joanne and i kind of thought you know, if we're outside and we're gonna cook stuff over the fire, why don't we do some like nostalgic food, right? Stuff you grew up on. And this is gonna be the first one. So we're hoping it's gonna be good. I think it will be. We can't screw it up. <laughs> it's basic ingredients. Basic ingredients. It's gonna be fun. Basic so ingredients. We're just heating up the pan. I'm gonna put the um, hamburger in there soon. And then we actually have a homemade beef broth we're going to add to it to sort of make it better. Um, and then instead of bread, we're going to put it on a uh, baked potato. So let's see where it goes. It's going to be delicious. Yep. All right. So I'm going to pull out our ground beef. I'm going to pull out our spatula. How is this? Is that bent? Is it bent? Could be. I don't know. It might be. Well, to be fair, it's a dollar store spatula. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That should be hot enough. Let's, uh, let's get this in the pan. The smoke is getting... Why, when we're going to cook, it decides to blow this way? Murphy's Law. Well, it's not sizzling that great. It wasn't as hot as I thought, apparently. So, I will not be defeated. I will put more wood underneath. Wow, it's hot. It is a hot fire. How is that I'm not hot? Surprising the pan is not hotter. That's crazy. Ouch. Ow. Alright. 
I will make this. What? All right. Anyways. So we have the hamburger in the pan. I'm thinking that smoky flavor will like fully get into this. I think add to it. That's just my opinion. I don't even know until we taste it. But oh God, that's hot. That's true. It looks... I need the up glove. <laughs> It'll definitely not get... sponsored. All right. So this. So this is our homemade beef broth. We. I think it's from a roast or a beef dip we made or something. Yeah, can't, I can't remember. remember. But we thought it out for this. We thought it'd be a great thing rather than commercial stuff. I'd say you know it's good. Right there. That's how you know. Oh, yeah. You gotta Hang turn on. it down. Hang on. It's oh, yeah. See all that fat in there? That's how you know it's homemade. Fat is flavor. Then I'm delicious. Oh, you shouldn't say that on camera. Well, you should just say that on film either. All right. So this is what we're going to make our gravy with. <laughs> okay, so after some apparently technical difficulties, I'm going to take a little bit of flour, and we're going to go back to the truck, grab some water, and we're going to make gravy. Mm -hmm. All right. Just going to whisk us up the fork. I'm going to pour this in and hopefully within a few minutes Ooh, that's a lot it's already starting to thicken it's already thickening yep nice it takes, time. It takes time man cooking over the fire good cooking takes time all right should be good that looks amazing i'm thinking it's very thick There it is. Shit on a potato. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. And the vertic is? Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. I got you mid bite, sorry. It's all right. It is so yeah, good. Yeah, it's really good. Amazing, actually. Yeah. All right, let's go find a pool of water to wash. What's the dishes? So we've got this idiot on the other side of the river who keeps firing a gun. It's only a 22, but the fact that we're down to the river kind of worries me that this dickhead doesn't even know where he's shooting at. You going there? I think I'm going to go over here, actually. That's it. I'm done with this guy. Hey! Here, he's got, like, music going. Oh, he's still shooting, though. have our biodegradable soap just in case if people are wondering all-purpose cleaner I didn't bring a dishcloth just my scrubby that wasn't smart That's the frustrating thing about Harrison, is you find such a beautiful spot and then you find some dickhead that just sits there and wants to shoot guns. And by all means, shoot guns, but do it not within like, I don't know, 30 feet of the road. Actually, it's a little exaggeration. Maybe we're about a hundred feet off the road. But it's this guy and a motorhome that's run down, everything else, he's living the van life, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> dun, dun, da, 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 da. That was a really good dinner, thank you. 
Well, thank you. This was our idea together to try to do the whole nostalgia thing. So if anybody has any ideas of what they'd like to see, they should drop us a comment. Dude, thank God you're doing that. I would have been frontal forward and facing those rocks in a second. Just to be clear, we are not anti-gun. As a matter of fact, when we go into dangerous places where there could be predators, we actually ask some of our friends that are licensed to bring their guns. But I've got to be honest, this guy was 30 feet off Harrison East and shooting up Cogburn, which we were watching cars come down. Now, it just would take one stray bullet to hit one of those rocks in that river basin and to come over our way. I just wasn't down with it, so we left. Hey guys, so we left earlier than planned. Um, there was this guy living in an RV, squatter, homeless. I don't know what his deal is, but he was firing at 22. I could hear it. It's, 22 has a d distinctive sound. And um, I didn't know where it was going. So Joanne said, maybe honk the horn. So we gave it a little blast and we honked it. And then it stopped for a while. And then we heard girls giggling, and I don't know if he's trying to be a show-off or whatever, but the gun came out again and started firing, and there was a lot of big boulders in there. Like, a 22 is usually not a huge threat, but I didn't want a ricochet or something stupid going on, so it just, it, it, it's not cool when, when someone takes away your fun, but guns are nothing to be messed with. It's... I'd, I'd rather leave and have my wife safe than... I don't even know what I'm trying to say, actually. I just want my family safe, so we just left. Um, it sucks that we had to do that. So, that being said, we are taking Highway 7 home because it's pretty. It's a nice drive. And between Harrison and Langley, it's probably the nicest way you can get there. But we want to thank you for watching. And until next time, get out there, enjoy life, and find your moments. See you guys. Bye.